Matt, Matt's it, thinking. Hey, if, if you want to drive without a driver's license, it's it's no business of mine. But I I, I don't see where it's unreasonable for for the for society as a whole to put expectations on if you're going to use these roads then these these this these are the qualifications we expect you to have before before you drive on them if you own a farm say you own 100 acres and and you want to drag race tractors and smash them into each other i don't care you're on private property do whatever you want Uh, but if you're going to be on public roads and traveling from your house to the grocery store and i got to be on the road with you i want to know that the cars around me have a certain level of of proficiency in what they're in the equipment they're operating. Okay, so that's you know that's a valid argument. So what is that proficiency? A 15 to 25 minute road test? Okay, okay. Well, okay that, so you went from you went from you went from not having a license to well, thinking the I, test isn't strict enough. Well, you're you're giving qualifications to, no. to a person that has a license, abided by the law, went and got a license, which amounts to nothing. Okay, but and then you continually pay for this thing that doesn't give you any more proficiency than the day you got it. They just continually give it to you as long as you pay them. Well, and if you and if you, it's it, just nothing more than a revenue thing. You sh- you've shown that you understand the laws. Now, once you're out on the road, if you choose not to obey them, they take your license from you. If you didn't have a license, what would they do to you? Well, they're. The, the, the same ultimate, law applies. Right, the what, same law applies, but ult- ultimately... Wait, 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 what would they do jail. to you, Bat? What did you say? They'd go to jail? Yeah. They'd put you, they'd put you but, in a cage. But the you gun wouldn't, appears. You wouldn't be put in jail... Okay, so, best case scenario, right? You choose, You say, I mean, I, I'm just not going to get a license, but I will abide by the rules, there okay? You go. And so if you, if, you, if you didn't have a license and never got pulled over... You can be pulled over without breaking a law. No, you can't. Yeah, you yes, can. Yes, you can. How? I've been, they do it all the time. That's what drunk stops are about. No, I, no, I you not. have to. You have to. They have no, to have probable cause. No, you have to be cause. accused of breaking a law. You right. don't have to have broken a law, man. Just but it, okay, but at at the point where and at the point where they pull you over and you don't have a license, now you have broken a law. No, it's they, called entrapment. They can't pull you over unless they have probable cause. You have to have either something failed on your vehicle. You have to have broken a rule. Not true. I've been pulled over. Okay, I got pulled over for making a left turn because I didn't put my turn signal on a full hundred feet before the turn. I think I did, right? I'm almost certain that I did, but I can't. That's hearsay. The fact is, he pulled me over and said, "You didn't signal soon enough. Give me your license." And at that point, Wendy, if you do not present your papers, you are now in violation of the law if you don't have the proper papers. And if you don't have the proper papers, that you by your admission, they will use the force. To put you in jail. Right, because that's the rule. You're supposed to have a ah, driver's license to be on the road. There we go. So basically, now, before you jump in, Josh, I'll be, basically, if Matt, what you're like saying is get the law changed. if enough people get together and decide that we are going to go ahead and make any behavior at all that we choose to make illegal, then we can go ahead and do that. For instance, let's just say that, the, the, let's see, how many of them, there's four of us in here today. Let's say that three of us, Matt, decide that we don't <laughs> like people named Matt. You right. have to have a different name than Matt. Hmm. Okay? Oh, you're in violation of the law. The three of us have decided that you're going to jail. Well, that I would be grandfathered in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you would hope no, so, just... but but basically... And I it's mean, a the, First the, Amendment the, issue. Ah, is it? And what if we decide that we don't like the First Amendment? What if we put a restriction on your speech? Just like you want to put... Did you put a restriction on everybody's freedom of movement? With the with the driving, I've put a, I've put a restriction on people's movement off of their own private property. So basically, if you leave your private property, then you don't have a freedom of speech either. If people and decide it's not, it, and it's not a re, and it's not a restriction because people, if you it, you what about carrying a gun? What if what if you carry decide, one? I don't care. As long as you're on your own private you're property, missing, you're, you're no, missing you're missing something here. They've already regulated kids' ability to drive tractors on private. That's property. true. On private because property, private, if public property exists. Well, well, public property doesn't exist. All property is owned and controlled by someone. Well, you you know that. that rule, you know I'll that as a member of the borough. Find out why they're to find public out. property does not exist. Who controls public property in Fairbanks? It's the people in that building right over there. Who controls private property in Fairbanks? It is it's also the, the people, people in, in that, that building, building right over there. there. They decide your land use. They decide how you can heat your house. Okay, so then in a perfect world, right? Um, if 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 you could be dictator for the month, and would, that would not be a perfect world. Matt. Okay, but at least for, a year. For argument's sake, um, sh- 
how should public how how would how would you I mean you'd get rid of property taxes right the, right you, but you're working you're dealing with technical things I'm just saying morally as a matter of principle morally it is the use of force against people who okay. have not aggressed against you is wrong okay so and so, so the the answers to those questions don't matter it's like when when no listen no hear me out on this so we're gonna abolish slavery who's gonna pick the cotton right. It doesn't matter who's going to pick the cotton. Slavery is wrong. If you had told people back during the abolitionist days that giant machines powered by this black goo that comes out of the ground that has no use are going to harvest the cotton thousands of times faster than the, than the slaves that they have, and that they'll just take this cotton and dump it into these big machines and T-shirts will pop out the other side, they would have said, you're nuts. Right. The question was, if we abolish slavery, who's going to pick the cotton? And it's the wrong question. The question is, is slavery right or wrong? Slavery's wrong. It should be abolished. Everything else doesn't matter. Oh, I, I, I mean, I agree with you. I don't believe that the that the borough should have the ability to take your house if you can't pay your property and taxes. Unless they, we really, really, really need a library. No, I don't believe that that's right. I, I mean, I just don't. I just. But when. Currently, the two alternatives, or the two proposed, whatever, methods of generating revenue are sales tax or property tax, okay? And and the problem I have with a, with a sales tax is I think it is a greater evil for the borough to go into any business and say, show me your books. Yeah, well, I, I'm not even going to get into the property tax sales tax debate. I think taxation is theft, and it's morally reprehensible. It That's is, the problem. Again, no, it's no the one wrong, challenges. It's the wrong question. No one challenges Matt. the taxing or the spending. It's it's always fighting about the pile of stolen money, not not questioning how did the pile of stolen money get there for you guys to dole out. How how do you, then then what is the then then to go to a the, how, wh- higher how do, circle right instead of the money being stolen what is what is the um. What is the solution? How do how do customers get an oil change at your station? Do do you point a gun at them and say pay up? They say, oh, I need my car serviced. I'm going to go to Matt's station because he uses Mobile One, which is the best oil out there, and they pay you voluntarily. How do people get their food? You know, they go to the grocery store and they buy the food that they want. Should we have a national defense system? What is different question? What is national defense? Okay, but my question, but my question. What what is national defense? Um, protect, protection within our borders. Matt, so we already have that. Get closer to the mic, Matt. You're, you're okay, but but that's a different question too. Okay, okay, no, no, should, no hold should on. We, I'm should we point up. guns at people leading, who live inside on, this country so that I'm we can point guns at people who don't live inside the country? We, <laughs> we, we we have a, if we have a national defense system where we are protecting our citizens from foreign countries, right? How do you how do you propose we pay for that? That that's a technical question. I'm saying that pointing guns pointing guns it. at the people in this country to point okay. guns at people in other countries I, is not a fair bargain. I'm agreeing with you. Right. What I'm saying is when we want to when we want to have a system in place so that when people from other countries here, here, okay, I'm going to float one float one how, by here, man. How, so how so 100 years for, ago, 100 years ago, you have the cavalry, right? And you have these horses and saddles, and they're expensive. You got to keep. You know, you got to raise the horses and train them. And you tell people that there will be machines that can fly around that are already know where they are in the world. And they can track people and send magical video feeds back. And they didn't even know what video was. And they can do it at a fraction of the cost and that we could provide national security and defense that way. They would have said, you're nuts. We don't know what the future will look like. And it doesn't matter. I'm not asking it, about it the future. I'm saying no. I am talking about the future because you're talk. When we talk about national defense, we're talking about building aircraft carriers and planes and all these things in the past. And national defense is about, you know, solving a, a technical problem. It's not. If we if we get rid of the moral problem of pointing guns at our own people and people are free and prosperous, they will solve the problems of the future that are created by liberty, which is what you're talking about. You're talking about if people were free and we didn't point guns at them, so we could point guns at brown people. Who would point the guns at the brown people? I'm saying maybe we don't need to point the guns at the brown people. Alan, thank you so much for the phone call. 458-TALK is the number. This is the second phone call of the hour, and we've only got five minutes left. Good morning. Who's this? Are you still there? Speak now or we move on. All right, moving on. Good morning. This is Patriot's Lament. Who's this? Hey, Stu. Hey, what's on your mind? Hey, I just want to talk about the proper testing. Is a... There's no, a, not a way to still have the property tax that I believe is wrong, but 
is more wrong is immoral is take to somebody else's house because they can't afford to pay proper tax. So there's no way to eliminate that and have something else instead. Well, let me ask you this, Claudio. What would you do instead of property tax or instead? Let's say we had no taxes at all. What then? Have you thought um, about that? How would we, like how, that, how would how would we provide any of the services that the borough provides or that the state provides? It's like what Dave was saying. What if everything was offered by way of the free market? If you want the service, you gotta pay for the service. Exactly. But, uh, a property tax is the same position. Like if I don't want that service, I still gotta pay property tax. You still and gotta pay for it. My land. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, my my way of thinking. No, if, I think the property tax is more on this way. Because I'm not paying for the service. I pay for service. I actually pay for services I don't want. You like pay for schools. services you don't want, like schools, okay? Because I don't use the school system. And, uh, uh, you know, they should have a way to. Uh, it's still like a property tax immoral, but if you put a way to, to enforce that property tax without taking the house, you know, that's a solution I think should get to. There will be a less of the evil. Go ahead, Matt. Okay, here's, here's the thing about. Um, whether whether we agree with it or not, uh, we are there is little way to separate ourselves from the the public education side of of property tax. Okay, so for example, like Parks and Rec. Okay, when they say, oh well, there's hockey rinks and there's this and there's that. Okay, I can separate myself from the benefits of a hockey rink in the borough. I don't, I don't go to the hockey rink, and so whether or not I interact with somebody who goes to the hockey rink, I don't really care. But from a public education standpoint, I interact with people all day who are products of the public education system. How's that working out for you, Matt? Well, t- today not real well. How's their math doing? Uh-huh. No, I wasn't. Okay, but but the <laughs> the point is how I I don't believe we would be a better society if we had no public education or if if we and so so as a pro, as a property why, owner why don't you Matt? oh I don't or I don't are believe, you just, you're, I just don't, you're, you're just repeating the mantra what, that you were indoctrinated with it would be a bad well, just it would be same. a bad place well, if we did not have this so stuff. different than the indoctrination that we don't need any of this they, stuff if I don't go to school I shouldn't pay they take donations at the borough Matt so just pay why don't you go over to your find a neighbor in your neighborhood who doesn't want to pay property tax find out how much property tax he pays and pay it for him if you believe in the service that he doesn't. I, I do quite a bit for the public. No, I'm, I'm saying if you're going to advocate pointing, it's, it's stealing a, your neighbor's house because he has a difference of opinion, why don't you just say, well, I believe schools are twice as valuable as what they're charging me now, so I'm going to pay twice as much, and you don't have to pay because you don't want to. Guess what? What? At the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I've had a lot of Sorry, fun. Sorry, Josh. <laughs> That's all right. Josh, you got Thank in Thank you, like, Mr. Juan, for coming in. Yeah, thanks for coming in, Matt. Two words. Awesome. We had a, had a lot of fun with you here today, Matt. And those of you who did not get through today, please email us. Dave, what's the email address? Uh, well, patriotslament.blogspot.com is the blog, and patriotslament at gmail.com is the email. And if they want to check us out on YouTube? It's uh, Radio Free Fairbanks is the YouTube channel. And uh, this uh, show will be posted on Monday or Tuesday on KFER's website as well, KFER 6 com. Up next, it's Health Talk. We'll see you next time on KFAR, local talk radio. And I'll be back again on uh, Monday morning for the Better Breakfast Show at 6 a.m. Don't touch that dial. Fairbanks is listening. 6.60 a.m.